mostly catfish in the freezer. Only one perch for some reason in the store. The perch was real popular and it got all bought out, but so I'm going to make one catfish and one, one perch. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this out of the way for a second here. But um, I know I could have went fishing and actually caught some fresh catfish. I don't know. I mean, I watched Jeremy Wade's uh, reruns of River Monsters. Yeah, he gets some big old catfish there, you know. If I tell you any other fishing stories, I'll just spare you, you know. I actually went diving for sponges once. Um, man, I'll tell you, you know, I had a hell of a fight with one of them things. That damn thing tried to absorb me, you know. True story. Barely escaped with my life, you know. But, uh, aside from the bad jokes here. Oh, they really make this little bit of a pain in the butt here, you know, not only do, is it wrapped like that, I gotta, damn, you know, tell you what, you know, these pieces here, let's see if this, oh, at least it tears open, they had to put it in extra packaging too, just to mess with you, but at least they, they, they made it so you could get it apart. sprayed that with some of some of this but just to make sure it don't stick to the pan but I'll show you the next step here in here I'm gonna shove this over here it doesn't really matter it's gonna melt and it's gonna get in there and it's gonna add flavor so I'm gonna take some of this if I can get the anything to stay open we're going to just <laughs> yeah, yeah. Woohoo! All right, that's good enough. That right there. Don't want to leave a plastic item on the stove while anything's cooking. I got mashed potatoes cooking in here, and you think I don't want to melt. I don't want to have a melted glob of garlic and plastic on the stove. Don't do that shit. Not even for a minute. But I'm going to take another one of my absolute all-time favorite garnishments here. And I'm going to throw some of this on here. And yeah, garlic rosemary chicken is going to be one of my other things I'm going to eventually make here. I'm going to throw some of this on here. 
I've been known to take entire jars of this, like uh, the whole damn thing, and make tea out of it, which is a very good thing to do. Just shake a, a generous and vigorous amount on here because the garlic and the rosemary, the smell of rosemary cooking in there, that's going to be very aromatic and everything else. And they're just going to shake as much. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And what I've been known to do here is um, take a whole bunch of rosemary. I'll do a video somehow. Throw it in the entire thing in this, which you're looking at here. This has been stored away. i got to do some scrubbing here. I recently was using it. But uh, put the lid on, and what I do is fill that with water. That's all you do, and just make a whole rosemary tea like that. And boy, it makes an entire aroma all over the room. Woo! Should I take the smell of rosemary cooking that way in food or in a tea over the aroma of people smoking weed any day, any week? Any day of the week, but if you need that medically, it, flo it floats your boat, it's okay. But if you want to go and sprinkle a bunch of your weed on on chick on chicken and with a few dashes of garlic, and if that floats your boat and you want to do a video of it, that's up to you, too. If you want to be creative, I'm just saying, but... Alright, so at the same time, I forgot. I'm going to take some... Worcestershire Schistenshire sauce. That's what I call it, even though it says Worcestershire on the bottle. I just think it's more fun to call it Worcestershire because uh, I made that up. I'm going to throw some on here just to give it a little bit of zing. Give it a little bit of zing and bling to your thing while you sing. It's just my thing. I don't know. So, anyway, I throw on my bunch of shit all over here, whatever the hell I wanted and all that. I'm going to give it some aroma. I'm going to turn this I'm going to turn this on here to about 350 degrees and I'm going to throw some boil on it and then drop it into the stove and cook it up for checking about a half an hour cuz these Things ain't very thick like a meat. It won't really take that long. Give it about a half hour. Check it. And if it's something ain't right, put it in a little longer. Uh, go by smell. You know what I mean? I mean, we're not eating sushi here. So you want to cook it a little bit, you know. And so. Yeah. Foiled again. So I'm going to open this on up. And I'm just going to toss this in here. Toss this in here and then slam the door. And then, like I said, you know, uh, wait about, I don't know, about a half hour or so and check it, you know. And if it smells like it's done, it's in, then it's done. If it don't smell like it's done, then it's not done. I mean, you really don't want to eat sushi, raw fish, or whatever raw perch. But, I don't know, you can if you want to. I mean, if it floats your boat. Uh, but... All right, um, see you in a half hour. Peeled my taters and then uh, cut them up and boiled them. So I got some mashed potatoes here. Going to get ready to take care of them here in about a second. While I'm waiting on the fish, we're going to go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to take the lid and kind of go like this a little bit. And what I'm going to do is get rid of this water. Alright, put this back down here. Turned off the burner there. And I'm gonna look for a piece of equipment in my utilitarian combination rack here. If I can get the damn thing to come. There it is to come down. Okay, and we're going to decimate these mashed potatoes and turn them into mashed potatoes. And, alright, yeah. I'll sing it with me, everybody. I can mash potato. I can mash potato. I can do the twist. I can do the twist. You can tell me, baby, do you like it like this? Do you like it like this? All right, let's do this over again. I can mash potato. I can mash the potato. I can do the twist. Do the twist. And tell me, baby, do you like it like this? 
Do you love me? Do you, lo do you love me? Do you love my mashed potatoes? Yes, I do. All right. And just keep keep pummeling it till you just get all your stress out on them. You know what I mean? Because they can be a little stubborn. Just plow into it. So it turns into dirt to a potato paste. And then go get some, uh, grab some of this cow juice here, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of that in there and just stir it up and all that happy, uh, and I got a half a, half a jar of gravy that I'm going to use up and just grab a spoon. I'm gonna go and mix that up in there, and then so I'm doing while I'm uh, waiting for my um, fish to get done. So my share of potatoes, I might dump some garlic in there, but for my share, you know, it's just gonna. Oh, and there's still chunks of potato in here. Damn it! So what we're gonna do is. I got a nice piece of equipment here that I haven't done any baking with. That I can actually use an electric mixer. It's around here somewhere in my organized mess. Not worth picking it up out of that. I usually, if I was going to do a baking project or feed more people with mashed potatoes, I'd get that out of here. But I'm not. There we go, and then it's all stirred up. just to make sure it's dead. Okay. So I got my share of the tators here. And tell you what I'm gonna do. I am going to just... If I get the good thing to open up, throw some of this in here like that. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Stir it up really good. I'm going to get the last of this gravy out with some water in the jar here. Yeah, I gave her her, her share already. And then I'm going to shake this water. This is my share, so get the last of this gravy out. I had a half a jar of gravy I wanted to use, so some mashed potatoes with this. Am I going to go to the little th damn jar? I call it on here. This damn blinkety blank lid off this jar. My fingers are kind of slipping because it's for the love of that. All right. There. There we go. There. I want to use that up. And there we go. Spilled a little bit. i got to clean that up real quick. Get a paper towel and wipe it off. But. And then what we're going to do is add some chocolate chips. Psych, not really, nah. Maybe another time I'm not going to do that. Not really. I'm just going to go eat this. I'm going to go eat this now while I'm waiting for the fish to be done. But right, we're going to see how this came out here. Grab this here with something. I waited for the stove to power down so it's not as hot. All right. Defoil this. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Where the hell did I put this to for now? It cooked into that butter pretty well there. Plate. 